Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys the latest method for setting up the SD to Vita. So all you need for this video is a PlayStation Vita with custom firmware installed. This one has Hencore installed and that is pretty much the custom firmware that most PS Vitas will have. You will also need a micro SD card. The one I've got here is 16 gigabyte, but my SD to Vita actually supports um, SD cards up to 256 gigabytes. Now I will leave an Amazon link to one in the description. So if you guys wish to purchase one, make sure to check that out. Um, that is a good reliable one and it's a very good price. You You'll also need an SD card adapter so you can connect your SD card to your PC so we can copy the files across. So the very first thing you guys will need to do is just get your SD card, get the SD card adapter and go and connect this up to your PC and I will be showing you guys how to set it up. Okay, so I'm on my computer now and my SD card that I want to use for my SD to Vita is plugged in. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to format our SD card. So when you format something, it does completely wipe everything on there. So if there's any files on your SD card that you wish to kind of like back up, make sure you drag it and drop it somewhere on your computer first. But anyway, mine is blank, but I'm just going to format it. So right click, go down to format. Now on format, we want to choose capacity as normal. File system, we want to choose XFAT and then allocation size, we want to leave that as default allocation size once that's done make sure quick format is ticked click on start and then just click on ok now it's just going to say format complete we can click on ok and just click on close once that's done we will need to open up an internet browser because we will need to go to the links in the description of this video so the first thing we need to download is autoplugin.vpk this is a vpk file we need to install so we can set up the sd to vita so just click on the autoplugin.vpk and that will begin downloading the next file we need to get is the Windows 32 Disk Imager. What this does is let us put an image on our SD card so it will work as the SD to Vita. So just click on download. This is some software that you will need to install. Um, so just wait five seconds and then this will begin downloading. Okay, so once that's done, we need to go to the final link in the description. This is the ZZ blank image. And what this will do is make our SD to Vita basically work. Um, this is the like image file that we need to um, put onto it. So all you want to do is just click download. This should download in a second. And then once it's done, they are all of the free files that we need. So once we've got these files, we want to go to our downloads folder and find them in there. So the first thing we want to do is install the Windows 32 Disk Imager. So just double click on this. And now you want to go through the setup process. So just accept, click next, um, next again. You guys get the idea and then you would just click on install. I actually have already got this installed so I'm going to click on cancel. But make sure you just click on install and install it. So what we're going to do now is make sure we format our SD card to the correct format. So we're just going to go to the search icon down here and we want to open up the Windows 32 Disk Imager. So it's this app right here, Windows 32, just click on that and then just click on yes if it comes up with a box. So the first thing we need to do is locate our image file. This will be in our downloads folder. So click on the folder icon right here and let's look for it. So here it is in my downloads folder. We're just going to click on it and simply just click on open. Next, you will need to choose your device. Make sure you select your SD card and do not select anything else. So everything else can be left the same. Leave hash on none. Do not tick this box. And then all you have to do is just click on write. What this is going to do is write the image file to your SD card. Make sure there is nothing on there before you do this because it will write it again. So just click on yes. When it says write successful, just click on OK. Your SD card is going to remount itself to your computer and it's going to ask it to format. So just click on exit right here. If it doesn't, make sure you just disconnect your SD card and then simply connect it again. So it's going to come up saying this, you need to format the disk before you can use it. Click format disk. From here, we just need to choose default capacity. For the file system, we must select XFAT. For the allocation size, set this as default. Make sure quick format is ticked and just click on start. Now just click on OK. Now just click on OK again and our SD card is now set up to be used as the SD to Vita. So as you can see here, it comes up on Windows. 
So right now we just need to quickly connect our PS Vita to our PC. I would recommend using the USB connection for this, it's just a lot better when copying across files. You can use the FTP server if you want to, that's entirely up to you. If you wish to change, you can press start and switch between USB and FTP from there. I'm going to use USB, so I'm just going to press select, connect my PS Vita to my PC, and I will show you guys what to do from there. What we actually need to do is drag across the auto plugin.vbk. So my PlayStation Vita is letter F. So I'm just going to select this and just drag and drop it on the root of my PS Vita. Next, what we need to do is go onto your PS Vita, go to view at the top, go to options, then go to view again. So in the folder options, what you guys actually have to do is tick this option right here, which says show hidden files and folders. So just click on apply and then just click on okay. And this is going to show everything on your PS Vita. There's also like a shortcut to it up here, but in case that's missing, um, that's basically the quick way to do it. Um, so what we're gonna do is select everything um, which is in here. So literally everything, including the VPKs, all of these kind of like um, .dat files. And what we actually wanna do is just drag and drop this onto our SD card. Now this can take quite a long time. So I'd recommend giving it up to 50 15 minutes so let's just go and do it now drag and drop it across so it's going to calculate first I reckon mine's going to come to about there you go four gigabytes so yeah it's going to take a while so I will be back when this is done okay guys so it's finally done if you get this message make sure you just click replace the files in the destination and then it's done guys we've got our PS Vita normal memory card files onto our SD to Vita so what we can do from here is make sure we disable hidden files because we don't want to delete anything by accident disconnect both of the devices and I will show you guys what's do next okay so once we're back press circle to close out of this message and what we can actually do is put our SD card into our SD to Vita so here is the SD to Vita that I've got here is the SD card let's just go ahead and put this in right now and what we can do is actually put this into our PS Vita's game slot. Okay, so once it is in the game slot, what we need to do from here is install the Auto Plugin VPK. So go onto our UXO, scroll all the way down, and here it is, the Auto Plugin VPK file. So press X on this, X again to install. And it might ask you to press X one more time, and then it should just start installing. Okay, so once that's done, press circle to go back to the main menu and just keep note of our UXO. As you can see right now, the maximum size is 7.45 gigabytes. We are going to be swapping that round. So let's close out of Vita Shell. Let's open up the auto plugin and then we can install the SD to Vita plugins. So as soon as auto plugins loads, press X on plugins for Vita. Go down to install plugin for SD to Vita and press X. Okay, so press X to proceed with the installation. It's now going to install the plugin for you, and this is where we need to set up the configurations. So as you can see, the official memory card port, I'm going to use that as my UMAO, that's like secondary storage. Um, internal memory, I do not have this, this is the PSV2000. If you do have this, you can set that as your UMAO. If, if you do not have the PSV2 memory card, um, you can pretty much just leave these at the same, it doesn't really make a difference. And what we're going to do is press triangle to save the configuration. It's then going to say um, it's updated, press X for OK. And now your PS Vita is going to restart, so press X again and your whole PlayStation Vita is going to restart just to get this working. Once the whole system restarts, we will need to run the Hagen Cost custom firmware again, so just go ahead and open that up. Okay guys, now the moment of truth. Is it working? Let's go ahead and test that out in Vita Shell. So apps might take a little longer to load the first time you've got your SD to Vita, but eventually they should go back to normal. This doesn't really like make any speed differences. And there you go, guys. If you have a look at the UXO, we can see we've now got 16 gigabyte and our UMAO now is our like memory card or whatever. So that is seven gigabyte. So that is how you set up the SD to Vita, the new easy method. The old method used to use that up, the TF card plugin, and it was just a lot harder to set up. So I quite like this way. It's really easy. And this will work on 3.70 when the hack is released. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.